thanks for tuning in on Slick Hair TV. My name is Emil. We get a lot of questions about how to restore damaged hair or how to have healthy hair. That's the subject of today's video. Before I get to it, I will show you how I style my hair. Of course I use a pre-styling spray with heat protection and good oils and products in it and also the revolution wax. That's how I keep my hair healthy. That's actually by applying good products. The Revolution Wax has a high hold and matte finish. Because of the pre-styling, I don't have to use much wax. I always keep a brush with me when I style, just to keep the hair in place. All right, let's get to number one. A lot of people ask how many times a week should I wash my hair? And it's important to say, it depends on the situation. How much product are you using? Are you doing a lot of exercising, sports, etc. Whenever your hair feels greasy or oily, you have to use a shampoo. So personally, I like to do washing every single day. It's the easiest way to start off with a new hairstyle. Whenever it feels greasy, I use a shampoo. So for me, it's every second day or so. Um, when you're using a shampoo, use a good one with good ingredients because then you will not only have your hair clean, you will also have some good oils and essential stuff to uh, lay around the hair straws. If you want to do some extra good for your hair, use a conditioner. It contains a lot of good oils and it means that it will protect your hair straw, it will give you more volume and a greater hairstyle. Number two, should I buy expensive hair products or low priced hair products? I would say often you get a cheaper quality for the lower price. Anyway, if we're talking a shampoo, there's a good chance it's a very cheap formulation. It could contain chemicals and in the end it could be hormonally disturbing your body. And if you're buying an expensive one, you will get some more quality ingredients and there might be some more research behind it. It's up to you what you like. I'm not here to judge you, but in the end it's about your hair. Number three, use a conditioner. If your hair is very damaged or if you need repair, then it's very important to give it some oils that will work into also the scalp or the hair straws. So it leaves your hair glowing and full of volume. Remember when you shampoo your hair, you will leave, it will leave your hair all fluffy and, and clean from oils. And when you're applying the conditioner, then it will actually close the hair straw. So it's more, I'll say heavy in some kind, but it will also give you a little bit of volume. But find a conditioner that works for you, it's very important. Number four, use heat protection. It's very important whenever you're styling your hair and using heat, then you're using a heat protection because it will protect your hair from any burns and also it will give you a very good volume and control. I would say for myself that I'm using heat protection every single time. By Vilain Nier is one of my favorites right now, but the Sidekick Zero is also one of the among the top three for me. It's an organic pre-styling spray. It has heat protection and also it has very good styling ingredients that leaves your hair more straight and has a natural shine to it. Heat protection, every single time you're using a blow dryer, I recommend that. You have to think about what you put in your mouth. It's about living healthy. I'll say if you can have a balanced diet and eat healthy 9% of the time, so there's a good chance that your hair will also thank you for that. I'll say you should eat a lot of proteins. You don't have to think of it like animal proteins, but I'll say you can have eggs, you can also have nuts, you can have uh, greens. Um, I think it's important that you find out what works for you. You can always see a doctor or some dietist if you have special food preferences. Anyway, think about what you are eating. Six, you have to stay hydrated. This sounds like a common sense quote for me, but I'll say 65% of the body is water. So think about how much water you are consuming during the day. Maybe start the day with a good glass of water. Also think about alcohol. If you're intaking too much alcohol or have a problem with that, then you also dry out your skin and that's not good either for your hair growth and your body uh, energy. So keep your alcohol intake at a minimum and remember to hydrate. Number seven, you have to be aware of your mental health. Stress can cause that you're losing hair too early. I would say if you have a balanced life and you do things regularly that makes you happy, then you can manage to have 
a busy lifestyle along with a good hair health. Number eight, you have to pull the plug sometimes, once in a while and relax. Recharge your batteries, it's very good for your mind and it's good for your hair too. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please comment down below if you have some tips and tricks that I forgot to mention here in the eight hair restore repair hacks. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, share and comment down below. All right guys, see you next time. My name is Emil.